Hey everyone, welcome back to the Halo font tutorial. Now this one here is Halo 3 font. A YouTuber asked me and I don't know what uh, kind of font he wanted so I'm just going to create most of them for him. So as you can see this is the one I made and then this is the original at the top. They both look very alike. Uh, I haven't spent much time on mine so you're going to have to play around with it. Obviously this is the way you do it, it's just you've got to spend a lot more time on it so yours is going to turn out more better than mine. But after you watch the tutorial you just have to, have to play around with it and see what you can create at the end of the day. So let's jump into things right now. So it doesn't matter what kind, uh, how big your font's going to be, it depends on your project at the time. So we're going to go click on the text tool and I'm going to click that. I'm going to bring mine down to 20. As I said, it doesn't matter what how big your font's going to be, it depends on your project. Um, I'm going to change the color to white. And don't forget you're going to be needing the font if you've just clicked onto this one and not my other tutorial. Um, it's going to be in the description bar for you to download. Now if you can't download it from that website, as I said, it's going to be in uh, my uh, source folders on my website. So the link is going to be in the description bar for that one as well. So if we go and type in Halo, don't forget it's got to be in uppercase because that's the way Halo is spelled. And then space and free. Bring that down here. And then we're going to double click that layer and we're going to click gradient overlay. Everything's going to be kept normal so blending mode normal, opacity 100%, uh, style linear, align with layer and the angle is going to be 90% and the scale 100%. Now the gradient color, we're going to click the black right here, press on the color. The color is going to be set to uh, D3E um, 2F5 then click OK and we're going to click on the white change that colour and that colour is going to be 5E7891 and then click OK now we're going to bring this slider down Now it's the location is going to be about well 41% and then click OK. Now we're going to work our way up uh, through the styles. So the next one is going to be bevel and emboss. Now it's going to be inner bevel, smooth. Depth is going to be 1, so not 100. And then we're going to go for an angle of 30 and the altitude of 30 as well and we're going to change the highlight mode to uh, overlay we're going to change the color so that color is going to be DAE um, CFA and then click OK I'm going to put the opacity up to 100% on that one and we're going to change the shadow mode to normal. We're going to keep the opacity to 75% and we're going to change the color on that as well. It's going to be 588, so 588 4AB and then click OK on that one. And then we're going to go to inner glow. We're going to put the blending mode to vivid light so if we can find that in the drop down menu and the opacity is going to be 65% and the color is going to be white so we change that and then the contour is going to be this curved one right here now after that one we're going to go to inner shadow and that's going to be multiply and it's going to be on black opacity uh, 75% angle 30 
and the size is going to be 1 and change the distance to 0 and the next one is going to be a drop shadow and that's going to be multiply black opacity is going to be set to 19% distance is going to be 0 oh sorry I mean 3 getting confused with the spread there and the size is going to be 10 and then click OK on that one now this next step is going to be the brush so if we go to our brush and then we're going to go and select a new layer so you can do that by going to the new layer icon in the bottom right hand side this one right here click that and we're going to go select our brush top left hand corner and it's going to be the spatter 59 brush right here and I'm going to hide that and now there's a few colors you want to work on now I'm just going to go through them with you so if we zoom in make sure we're working on the blank layer above that one and we're going to bring the opacity down to around 83% depends um, on how uh, much you want it you can bring it down to 45 percent so 45 to around 83 should be okay for this and then we're just gonna hold control and click on the little text icon right here and that selects it and then we're just gonna go over I'm gonna bring my brush down and just now I'm just doing this very 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 quickly and then we're going to change the color again now the one I just put on there was a like basically a dark gray and that one was 575 F6C so if you want to work on that now it really depends you can work on a load of different colors I've just put a load of different colors into this one now basically these are all the same um, all you got to do is just click on a you know click on a, on it so it's going to be the spatter brush and these uh, colors are going to be so if I just go through them the next one's going to be 3B5 B9, 8 and that's that colour and then you're just going to go back you're going to keep dabbing over again and then the next colour you want to put on top of that is going to be 477 6A0 and then as I said keep going back over uh, dabbing very lightly so you don't actually hide all the colors the next color is going to be 3A5 um, 067 then go back over again the next color after that one is going to be BFD 0EC and then go back over again and dab it very lightly now once you've done all, all of that you should get something exactly like this right here uh, at the end of the day you want to scale it to fit your project and you can free transform it by control and T and you can move it and all different things like that and that's pretty much it don't forget to pause the video as I was saying the um, the colors that you're going to be uh, putting onto the thing to create the rust effect now don't forget to change that and also if you want to add a bit more of an effect um, like I was saying you could change the the layer uh, blending modes to whatever color you know whatever kind that you want I just set mine on normal you can change it just you know create a different effect if you wanted 
but that's basically it so spend as much time as you can on it to make it look perfect and then you're done so I'll see you in the next uh, Photoshop tutorial bye for now